has a potential of kind of being a, almost an instant classic. We have the 2-2 two and yes. two Las Vegas Raiders taking on the 2-2 two and two Denver Broncos. Mark, this might shock you, but right now the Denver Broncos are three-point favorites. Mark, give me three keys of how the Broncos can win this weekend's game versus the Raiders. Uh, number one, it's our defense, man. Our defense is is balling out right now. Um, we have uh, we're ranking top three in yards. We're second in past yards per attempt. We're first in sacks per attempt. We're third. We're third best in third down conversion. Um, their defense is just killing it, man. If they keep this up, we're gonna shut down Garner Minshew and a non Devonte Adams Raiders team. Um, second game, our pass, our second key, our pass game needs to be better. Uh, we're ranking the bottom part of the league, 29th. Uh, our pass per attempt is terrible. It's 30th. Our third down conversion is 31st. It's bad, bad. So our offense passing game needs to be better. Lastly, our D, our Denver O line needs to keep going. They need to keep Bo clean. Like they have the lowest sack percentage in the league at 2.8%. 2.8%. If they keep that up, I think we're going to beat the Raiders. Yeah, so just to recap for Mark here, guys, number one is defense needs to keep balling out. The defense is currently ranked second in the NFL. Wrap your head around that. Great defense. Bo Nix needs to be have a better passing game. I believe he is only averaged like 160-some-odd yards per game right now. And then, of course, keep Bo clean. If you're able to keep your quarterback upright, he's able to pass the ball, and the offense is able to excel. You guys have listened to Mark about his Broncos. Now I'm going to give you three keys to the Las Vegas Raiders. Key number one is going to be Brock Bowers. The tight end that they drafted. Brock Bowers, his first two weeks of the of the first two weeks of the season, Brock had six catches in each of those games. The last week, he only had two catches. And then the loss to the Panthers, he only had three catches. So first two weeks he had 12 catches. The last two he had five. With Devontae Adams out. Why not use Brock Bowers? Use him over and over and over again. Gardner Minshew, guys, is an expert of a short dump-off passing game. Get Brock Bowers the ball early and establish him often. Number two, number two, number two, number two, play great defense. Do not let the Denver Broncos offense ever get going. Like Mark said, the Denver Broncos offense is ranked 27th right now, 27th ranked offense. They have yet to show any rhythm or the ability to put back-to-back -back drives together. Not only that, Sean Payton is making suspect play of coaching choices. Bo Nix only has 150, 59 yards per game this season, but he does have two games over 200 yards passing versus the Steelers and Bucks, both top 10 defenses. If he gets any sense of confidence, it could be a long day for the Las Vegas Raiders. I expect Max, Max, Max Crosby, if he plays, to get three sacks and nine quarterback rushes. I expect Max to be in that backfield early and often. And key number three is to find a number one receiver. We all know that Devontae Adams is done in Las Vegas. This, this hamstring injury is false. Let's just be honest. It is time for somebody to step up, whether it's Jacoby Myers, Tucker, or Turner. I don't care who it is. Somebody has to step up. There needs to be an established number one receiver in this game, and they need to demand the ball. So just to recap, get Brock Bowers involved early and often, play great defense, Max Crosby, get in the backfield, get Bo, Bo Nix dirty, and find a number one receiver. Find a number one receiver. Mark, with that being said, wow emoji for the Raiders, hard emoji for the Broncos. Who do you got winning this game and why? mute i'm going with the heart emoji i'm always picking my broncos always especially against the raiders i'm not gonna say anything bad but i just think that we're gonna finally get over the streak they beat us like the last six times that streak needs to end and i feel like it's finally going to end and then also we're be we're gonna be inducting steve foley and um they're drawing a blank another player's name two players in the in the ring of fame and they're, they're going to be wearing the old school 77 retro jerseys. I don't personally like them, but I think that might give the team good juju and we're going to win. And Mark, honestly, everything in, in, in my body wants me to pick against the Raiders, whether it's my fandom, 
or just just want to piss off John and Jim or just root for your team. But I cannot pick the Denver Broncos to win this game. The offense worries me so much. What you guys have, like, I mean, yeah, you have, like, 20, 20, 20, 26 points versus the uh, uh, Bucks, and then was it 20 points versus the, um, who'd you play first week? Chargers, right? Uh, but, no, Seahawks. Uh, or, yeah, the uh, Seahawks. But when you only score nine points versus the Jets, a struggling Jets team as is, and suspect play calling in that final drive drive or two of that game, I just don't trust the Broncos. I don't trust Sean Payton. I like Bo Nix. I like the defense, but I think Sean Payton is going to outcoach himself out of this game. I think the Raiders are going to win this game. So house divided here, Mark. I'm going to go with the Raiders. I went. I went. With Can't believe Broncos you picked week. the Raiders, Buck. Hey, I went. I went <laughs> with your Broncos last week. I talked you into it, but I just, I, I just, I, I cannot go with the Broncos. Yeah, okay, so with Minshew and with a no Devonte Adams and a Brock Bowers that hasn't been living up to par. Like, granted, our, our our offense hasn't been great, but if the offense that shows up against Tampa shows up, we're winning that game. Yeah, and that's a big if, if they show up. But let's just be honest that the. Tampa Bay Buccaneers forgot to show up that like that game. If that game is played again on Sunday afternoon, you guys probably get probably get blown out. I'm just sorry. It is, it is what it is. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and jump into the chat here. Wow emoji for the Raiders, heart emoji for the Denver Broncos. Let's see, let's see, let's see. John is saying the Raiders. Of course, he's pick, picking the Raiders. Kevin is saying the Broncos. But I like to see Nick's be a better quarterback. Yeah. Uh Jim Powell says Bo Nix is Herbert 2.0. No juice. All the hype, but no juice. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's still what four four weeks into the season. I mean, he still has time. Yeah, it's he still, still early. Time, right. Uh Terry Vernon says Cowboys gonna win the Super Bowl this year. Dallas Cowboys for life. We'll be talking about the Cowboys here in about five games, Terry. So stay tuned for that. Trust me, I am on your boys. I got the, I got the football right there of the Dallas Cowboys. Go, go, boys. And uh, Kevin says only you're playing Madden. I'm not. Uh, think you're playing the Raiders? Yeah. Lou Man says I got the Broncos. Jim says Tucker and Bowers are going to be fine. More than enough against the hoes. Okay. Alpha Rob says Broncos. John says Raiders Nation for life. He's picking the Raiders. And Kevin says you're always picking your Broncos. No wonder why you think Allen had to do something with Diggs' departure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shots fired. Pew, pew. <laughs> it's like you said, Buck, I'm with you. I'm always going to pick my team. So from going on forward now, like I'm never picking against them. So deal with it, Kev. <laughs> Derek says Raiders 35 to 16. Oh. Oof. I'm not for sure the Raiders have. That means the defense was bad. That means the defense was bad. Yeah, and I, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, Kevin says Sean Payton needs to stop trying to coach a team like he still has Breeze at his QB. Facts. He needs to understand he has a rookie quarterback. Rookie Truth. Quarterback. I would agree with you on that one. Uh, da -da -da -da. Jim says it's almost cow pushing season. The Broncos will be worried about crossing Broke Matt Mountain than playing football. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> not wrong and then john says buck is bobby hill <laughs> Fuck you guys. that's my purse i don't know you <laughs> <laughs> all right guys wow emoji for the raiders heart emoji for the denver broncos let me know who you guys got let me know who you guys got in the comments below next up next up next up we have the